What up, it's your boy, Incredible Man, and yes, I am back at it again, and this is Kometsu no Yaiba, Season 2, Mugen Train Arc, Episode 3, man. I loved the first two episodes, and they were fantastic. I, I'm just in love with it thus far, so let's dive into this episode and see what's popping off, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great. They would do it if they could, they can't do it, so they hate. Everybody want to look, but nobody want to play. Stealing eyes. All the hype and all the glory and the greatness that is to come. It was a little sad in, uh, in episode two, though, man, because we know that Tanjiro and everybody's dreaming and having that moment. And it sucks, man, because that was one of the worst days in Tanjiro's life. And to relive that in a dream. Yeah. When I wake up, oh, dude, there's going to be hell to pay, man. I don't understand though. What's the deal with tying them to the rope? Like kind of keep them secluded. Like I would have understood if like they tied them up like their bodies, but he said, you know, make sure they don't touch them and everything else. And I know that I'm assuming the demons are going to invade their dreams. Let's get it, man. Episode three should have been. Oh boy. I've, I'm getting a tingly feeling all over my body, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the, the rope has to be them syncing up with the dream. I remember him saying something about, the, the demon saying something about that. So that's them invading their dream, right? Or like keeping them tethered to the dream. Is that Nezuko? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, did he make himself cool in his dream? <laughs> he made, oh, oh, he didn't make himself that cool. Wow. This <laughs> oh, so nice, man. This is fun. But yeah, he didn't make himself that cool. I mean, So theirs is kind of the same thing. Like they're they're kind of like being engulfed. Wait, wait, why is both of them with Nezuko? <laughs> look at look look at Zanetsu. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Pa Panjiro. Panjiro. <laughs> ch 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 <laughs> Okay, Inosuke's dream is by far the best, man. But I can't get over how Zenetsu looks, and oh my god. Oh, wow. His dream has to be by far the best. That is the best. Well, they really wanted to take out Rengoku and Tanjiro, right? Because, I mean, they're the bigger threats. No disrespect to Zenitsu and Inosuke, but, I mean, Tanjiro and Zenitsu... I mean, um, Tanjiro and... and uh, Inosuke? What? No. Uh, Rengoku are the bigger threats, right? They're the ones they really have to worry about. So, capturing them in their dreams... And, you know, trying to cripple them would... would reap better circumstances than trying to cripple Inosuke and Zenetsu. So, so we see how he enters. 
Also, his father's rude to him anyway. Something happened to him then, right? That's why he's acting like that. Oh, man, dude, I don't know, man. Something happened to y'all dad, and he is just rude. Oh, so all of a sudden, he just quit being a swordsman. Oh, so he had a smile and everything. And then something happened and changed his whole demeanor. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, he's going to put on a he's going to put on a front and a big smile for his brother. Wow. Yeah, because Rengoku didn't have anybody, you know, especially once his dad whole demeanor's changed. He didn't have anybody to really just grasp onto for hopefulness. But his brother has him. So that's nice, man. He seems like one of those people that, you know, there's not much that can get him down. You know, he's, he, he sees the positivity in everything. Okay, so that's what it is. They're, they're going to connect them inside their dream. Oh, so he he done that because he was scared to fight him head on. Wait, did, is she the one inside his dream, or is she connected to Nezuko? Oh no, she's in Rengoku's dream. Wow. Why is... Oh, man, she's trying to make him weak. So when he does fight them, they won't be at full strength. Oh, crap. You know, I never understood like this stuff like this in movies or any kind of thing where you're watching something like this. When someone, let's, let's just say basically evil, tells you to do something and then they'll give you something in, 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 um, in concert with you doing whatever they need you to do. You can't believe these people. Oh crap. That's pretty though, man. That's that's so pretty. Uh oh. That's what I'm freaking talking about! 
about killer, 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 killer. That's what I'm talking about. Ring Goku ain't playing with you. He ain't playing with you, girl. I told you. I told you he was. He was. I told you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, Tundra. You gotta be next, man. You gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. You know this dream ain't real. But I'm sorry if I'm yelling, man. Like, like I said last night, man. This is this is all new to me. I like I I don't know what's going on. Oh, come on, Tanjiro, man. You know this ain't real. So maybe this demon is having second thoughts? Or something? I don't know. Because he, he seems a little remorseful to actually do it. Oh, girl, she just didn't have a care to work. She was just ready to mess up Rengoku's spiritual core. Oh, it just dawned on him. It just dawned on him when he when he, when he lifted up the basket. Because Nezuko's the only one that isn't in his dream. I was wondering where she was. But I didn't I didn't question it. Because I figured she'd make an appearance. Oh, come on, Tanjiro. You know this ain't right, man. So what is this other so this other demon is just watching him or something? Uh oh. That's the box. Could it be Nezuko trying to reach out to Tanjiro or something? So I'm looking at water, man. That water looks so good. That water looks real, man. Look, you see how you see how it's moving and flowing? Oh! He's talking to himself! Oh, shoot. Ringoku kind of just realized it himself. And Tanjiro is talking to himself to wake himself up. I told you they were the two bigger ones to worry about. Oh, so he still really isn't really. It's still ain't really registered. How is he going to wake himself up, though? Nezuko. Uh-oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 she, oh, she, she getting pissed. <laughs> oh, no, don't cry. Nice. 
No, she used that like like her her maybe her blood and like her anger or whatever. And that kind of let her tap into it. Ooh, let's go, baby. Let's go, man. He's back. Your boy's back. Well, look at him. Look, let's look at the threads, man. Let's go, man. Yeah, man, they're, they're dead, man. Wow, man. I know that was hard for him to do, though. But he can't worry about them because they're, they're a dream, man. He has to worry about Nezuko. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Tanjiro, you know that's not Nezuko. But it, it, it messes with him a little bit. Because she's talking, talking. And she's not, you know, grunting and anything like that. Oh, man. I, I imagine this does make him feel some type of way, though. Oh, man. Shoot. Well, of course, who wouldn't, man? You know, you get to see your family again, but... He knows this isn't real. Wow, man. Oh, shoot. What's going on? Oh, he's going to leave? Oh, uh, dude, you know, that's boss, man. He, he didn't even turn around. That's boss, man. I know it's hard, but that's boss because he didn't even turn around to say goodbye. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. And then they had the youngest. They had the youngest one to run. Come on, man. They, they messing with your heart, man. Just a little bit. They... Oh, shoot. Yeah, they know how to, they know how to get you, man. They know how to pull at your heartstrings. Because I felt all right, but when they showed the whole family and then the youngest brother, Oh, I thought he felt some kind of remorse for Tanjiro or something, but that, that is pretty. Like where where these spiritual chorus is at? It's legit. After all the stuff Tanjiro's seen, that's still the inside of his heart. That's that's what I said. That's beautiful. Man, shoot.
This is this is lovely. So that's basically what he sent them there for. Hopefully to get the job done, but if they couldn't, stalling for time would be the best way he could use them. So he really didn't care about them, and 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 they just assuming that they're gonna he's gonna fulfill their needs. More than likely, he'll probably kill them. The flame dance, like from his father, he's going to do the, the flame dance. I want to know so much more about his father now, man, like because we get these tidbits and these sprinkles and that ain't enough. I need more. Well, the fight, the fire dance, I guess, you know, I, I remember you guys saying the flame and fire in this series, anyway, is two different things completely. What are you going to do, Tanjiro? Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. Man, don't be going off right there. Are you kidding me? Let's check out the ending sequence, man. Well, so you got to see his father again, even though it's in the ending sequence type thing. Well, that was nice, man. Nice, man. Okay, man, now I'm ready for episode four. To be fair, I mean, this episode was legit. This, this episode spoke volumes. Granted, it was very subtle, if you will, man. Um, We see that, you know, the demons have enacted their entire plan, which is, you know, to invade everyone's dreams. And we see bits and pieces of everyone's dreams that's uh, Tanjiro, Rengoku, uh, Inosuke, and Zenetsu. Now, Zenetsu and Inosuke both have comedic dreams, and you know they're just living out their, be their best lives in their dreams. And it's the comedy aspect, and we didn't really see the demons in their dreams. Now, when we go to Rengoku and Tanjiro's dreams, we see that they're both in some very serious, pivotal moments in their lives, and because, you know, when Goku is dealing with his father, that his whole demeanor has changed and he has to look out and be that role model for his younger brother because his father is no longer a role model. And we're in Tanjiro's dreams. We see that he's dealing with, you know, just having his family, something that he's always wanted ever since he lost him, you know, just to be there with his family and everything. But when o the, the girl in Rengoku's dream tried to, you know, disrupt his spiritual core or whatever. In that moment, when he just flipped the script and he grabbed her in, in reality and started choking her and she floating through the air and the sky and everything else, I jumped out of my seat. You guys saw it. I mean, because that was legit. I didn't expect it to happen like that. I mean, I figured he would definitely sense her or feel her or whatever and maybe burn her up or something. I, I like, you know, cause she was rounded by the fire and he's, you know, flame and all this other type stuff, flame and fire. So I figured she would just be burnt or something, but for him to just like physically grab her, grabbing her in reality and just choking her. Come on, man. That was legit. And then Tanjiro trying to wake himself up, you know, like the present day Tanjiro is talking to like the past Tanjiro in the dream, telling him that none of this is real. He needs to wake up. Nezuko, uh, butting his head, uh, causing her bleeding 
and allowing herself her presence and her you know her energy to kind of flow into Tanjiro to kind of give him that extra wake up call that was legit been like everything him seeing his father this like I knew this was going to be good like I knew it was going to be good but I didn't know it was going to be this good man like this is speaking volumes and this is only episode three man oh my gosh dude it's so good and every all of all of the stuff that's going on with everything we see that like what these demons are trying to do like the whole parts where their spiritual cores are when goku's is surrounded by flames but it still was a very pretty place but tanjiro's is just a vastness and it is like a, a, a sky in a mirror ref, reflecting or whatever and it's just vast and there's clouds like it was just absolutely beautiful like Ufotable does a fantastic job regardless, but I mean that those two those two specific scenes in particular were just fantastic, man. It just really was really captivating. But uh shoot, this was uh what was this? Uh Kamesa no Yaiba, um season two Mugen Train arc episode three, and I gotta say, man, I am here for this ride. Because it's a train, I'm here for this ride. Oh, okay. This is your boy, Incredible Man. Don't forget to smash the like button too. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember, the anime matters. Anime is greatness and anime is life, man. Peace out. Hey.